Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2 and I have time today to make a quick video because I want to show you something that I bought that I'm really excited about and I was actually worried about. I bought a holster and this holster is for, I guess what I'm going to call my duty rig, even though, you know, I'm not a tactical operator. I am going to be reviewing a Core Essentials duty belt recently and it kind of got me into buying stuff for that belt. You know, it'd be nice to have a rig like that. Not that I'm going to use it for any other reason besides just be a dork, but I knew I have a gun that I kind of built out as, I guess I'll say like an ultimate carry gun. I knew it wouldn't be a concealed carry gun, but it has all the options that I would ever want and it's kind of the right color and everything. So I have a Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS, and I know that right now the way that I'm filming this, the light is kind of probably too bright. You don't see it, but it has the flat dark earth uh, frame. I got a Surefire X300 Ultra up here. Got a Trigicon a Red Dot, Trigicon uh, night sights as well, suppressor height sights. I got a silencer co threaded barrel and I've upgraded it with the uh, Vickers tactical base plates. So it's a really cool looking gun and uh, has the front cocking serrations. Anyway, I've upgraded it a lot and I was like, you know, this is the gun that I would like to have as a duty gun, essentially. And by the way, this is the Gen 5 that was, I think, the Lipsy's exclusive with this color and two-tone look. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I also added the Vickers Tactical Cocking Plate on the back. So you can grab it from the back as well. But anyway, I needed to find a holster for it. And to find a holster for the light and the Trigicon is kind of hard. And I was, like, always looking for a Safari Land one. And I bought one. I wanted to buy one in Flat Dark Earth, but they're hard to find. And I'll tell you, when I go to their website... You, they have like a nice drop-down menu to say, you know, to kind of figure out what holster is going to work well for your gun and that you're looking for. And if I bought one in Flat Dark Earth, it was going to be like five months wait. And I looked on Amazon, and I found some people that had some models that claimed that they would fit. And man, I'll tell you, I'm a little bit scared because there's so many different options and model numbers, and I wasn't sure it was going to be right. And I spent a lot of money on this. I think this thing was like 150 so this thing was supposed to be a level three retention holster. So it has lots of retention. It had the belt loop because I'm going to review it with that Core Essentials belt. It has the option for the light and the Trigicon. As I said, it's also a level three. The only thing about it that I wasn't 100% happy with is that it's black, but this is the most common color and I can get it today and it was at a discount. So I think this thing is usually like 225 and I got it for like 150 or 140. So the other thing, too, I had to do, and I even talked to Safari Land about it, was this is actually designed for a Glock 17 or a Glock 22, so the full size, even though this is a 19. But because I have the threaded barrel, it, it sticks out a little bit further, so the Glock 19 holster would not work. And the length of the light on this is going to be the same length as the Glock 17. So... They said, get a Glock 17 and it will work. And I was worried about that too, you know, spending all that money if it doesn't work. Oh, and the suppressor height sights. I was like, is that going to clear? And they claimed that it would. Well, I got this today. I can tell you the build quality of this Safari Land holster is awesome. And in case you're wondering, the model number on this one is the 6360 RDS-832. So... If you know all their numbers, you know what that means. And this thing is awesome. It fits this gun great. And never had a level 3 retention holster, so it works perfect. It fits that light, those sights, and you have the flap in the back, and you have the cover for the Trigicon. And so in order to get this thing out being a level 3, you have to push down on this flap right here, push that up. And then there's another lever right here you push down, and that's the way you can get the gun out of the holster. So this is a big boy. It's definitely not a concealed carry holster at all, but I think for a duty belt, it's going to be perfect. It's big. It's robust. I am really impressed with Safari Land. But I just want to make a little video about that because this is one of those things that I buy for myself that I don't always think I can flush out into a full video. And you will see this uh, holster when I do that Core Essentials uh review uh but yeah i kind of want to show it to you because this is pretty awesome and if you guys have been on the fence about buying a safari land i'd go about doing that because i'm really really impressed with 
their product so far. I mean, I am just honestly blown away. This hands down is the nicest holster I've ever bought. Totally 100% worth it. And even has a little bit of material in here to prevent the gun from scratching. And man, it is just, it's just nice. I'm really impressed. So do you guys have any Safari Land holsters? If you do, what do you think of them? I know they currently have the contract for the U.S. military. So obviously they think that they're a good holster company. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I finally got a holster for my Glock Gen 5 19 with all those accessories. Yeah, that is, that is super cool and really happy with this. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.